let's take a look at sources of administrative law. The Constitution of the United States and the states are a significant source of law in the administrative context. The principles of separation of power and federalism embodied in the Constitution are important to the structuring of agencies and, to some extent, in limiting the authority of agencies. Article 1 of the Constitution establishes many of the powers of the national government, specifically the power of Congress to regulate interstate commerce and other matters. The concepts of due process of law and equal protection of laws found in the 5th and 14th Amendments are vital limitations on the power of agencies. A statute that establishes an agency and sets forth the responsibility and authority of that agency is enabling statute. Congress enacts enabling laws at the federal level and state legislatures do so at the state level. It's common for Congress to create an agency in one year and to make adjustments to the agency's authorities and responsibilities in later years. Concern about the growing power of the administrative state led to the enactment of the Administrative Procedures Act known as the APA in 1946. The APA is the basic law governing the procedures that agencies must use in the performance of their function. Although comprehensive in coverage, the APA is not the first law of agency governance. The primary law is always an agency's enabling legislation. Often enabling statutes contain different or more detailed provisions than the APA. The enabling legislation is controlling in such cases, assuming constitutionality. The federal APA applies only to federal agencies. Although not a lawmaker, this is an authority delegated to Congress, the president and his or her executive counterparts in the states may issue executive orders. A lawfully issued executive order has the effect of a statute. Executive orders have two sources of authority. The first is Article 2 of the Constitution, which establishes the presidency. Although its framing of the presidency is broad with a few specific delegations of authority, it's generally recognized that presidents possess considerable authority that is inherent to the broad delegations that exist. The exercise of these authorities often involves making decisions of broad application that look and smell like law.